Parallel traffic is now moving at an intersection in Durham that was completely blocked off by protesters earlier this morning. CBS 17 Jamie's Price is live there now. Jamie's, those protesters are now off the road. Back this morning, they had the street. Uh, that's right, Randy. And Durham police sending a message that public right of ways cannot be blocked. They sent that message after protesters told us they came through and opened up this road. You can see traffic is moving here now. And that's after protesters have blocked the road for uh, several hours this morning. Also telling me, too, that uh, several protesters were detained. I actually witnessed one of those protesters being escorted out of this building in handcuffs and put into a Durham police cruiser. So I actually witnessed that happening not too long ago, but as it is now, uh, you still have these protesters set up and camped out just outside of the Durham Police Department. They've been here now for 10 days telling me they will not move until they see progress here. And what progress looks like to them is a number of initiatives under their Durham Renewal Project being funded, and those projects will address safety. It will also address um, health care and jobs for black people in Durham and people of color. So we're working right now to get more information confirmed about those protesters who were detained. But I saw one of those protesters being escorted out of this building in handcuffs, placed into a Durham police cruiser. And protesters telling me in the last half hour, opening up this road. And as you can see here, it is back open to traffic moving again here just along East Main Street. Live in Durham, Jamie's Price, CBS 17 News.